Ever since I was a kid, my dream was to become an Olympic gymnast, but sadly, I didn't have the confidence to go for it. But today, that changes. Today, I will be attempting 10 extreme gymnastics challenges with the help of a professional gymnast, Adriana. What's up? Do you think I have what it takes to make it to the Olympics? Hmm. Whoa! You only have one hour to transform into an Olympic gymnast. And at the end, you'll have to perform for the world's strictest judge. Bro. And if you don't score a 10, you'll have an extreme punishment. Oh no. First things first, you need to look like a gymnast. Here. Oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm not wearing this, I'm not wearing this. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was the wrong outfit. Here. Whoa, okay, this is much better. First challenge, we gotta warm up by stretching. So you have to copy me. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, I mean, I gotta sh straighten my leg out. In this leg. I mean, and point your toe. You wanna whoa. get a 10, Jack. Yo, my leg is literally as straight as it's gonna get. In the Olympics, everyone points their toe. This is going to be the longest hour of my life if every skill is this difficult. All right, let's see if your right leg is better. Okay, all right. Oh, ow, ow. Point your toe. I'm trying to point my toe, okay? It hurts. Is this good? I'm doing the same thing as you. Are you? I would say so. Ow, yo, what are you doing? Yo, Come chill. On, you got, you chill. have to go down. Jack, you have to get a 10. Straighten that leg. Ah, I'm trying. Point your toe, because I'm not going to touch your dogs. Oh. Go down. Sweating. The stretches are getting harder and harder. Next, middle split. What? Come on, Jack. Okay. Here I go. Ah, ow. I know you heard my hip pop. Yes, you heard it. Are you an old man? Uh, I'm definitely not a young cat. Ow, ow, yo, all right, my toes are pointed. Are they? Yeah, my toes are pointed, and um, I'm pretty close to the floor. Does this count as a middle split? Sure, but with a little help. Yo, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, ow, 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 oh. Somebody please get Adriana off of my back. Next up, back flexibility. Okay, thank goodness, because my legs hurt. Remember, Jack, you have to be able to do this to be an Olympic gymnast. A bridge? I've never seen someone just do a bridge. My back does not bend like that, but I'll give it a shot because this has always been my dream since I was a kid. Ow! Woo! I mean, I'm pretty, pretty much there. Okay, now kick over. Kick over? Okay, ready? One, two, hi -ya! Ah! Oh. Yo, I literally made that over. You think Where's I'm- Where's your finish? Oh. There you go, good job! Let's go, girls! Remember, this is only the beginning. I'll secretly be scoring Jack at the end of each round to make sure that he's ready for his performance at the end. Starting with round one, where he gets a four. He's gonna have to try a lot harder if he wants to get a 10 from the world's strictest judge at the end. Next up, B. Your hair hit me. Good. Your first challenge is just a simple leap. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hopefully you don't split the beam. Wait, so do you just kick your front leg up and put your heel up to the sky with your back leg? How does that work? It's just like you're jumping over a little pedal. Okay, thanks for the explanation. Here we go. What leg goes in the front? My feet are sweating. I'm literally leaving footprints on the beam. I'm so nervous, but I want to be prepared. It's my dream. Ah, I'm scared in. You got it, Jack. Ah! I'm literally so scared. Okay, ready? We can I do it standing first? Ah! That was a split jump. Split so jump. Leap. Okay, leap. One more. Show me one more time. It's hard enough to just balance on the beam, yet alone leap. If I ever want to make it to the Olympics, I have to easily be able to do all of these skills. Ah! <laughs> no. Okay, it wasn't bad, but we got to try to keep both legs straight. All right, but like that was the right technique, right? Kind of. You did the skill correctly, but not at an Olympic level. <laughs> That was nothing like jumping over a puddle. Are you kidding me? And I'm at risk of splitting the beam. I'll attempt this again. Here we go. Ah! Oh, all right, all right, all right. I can't do it again. I can't do it again. That was literally my best effort. That was a really good effort, Jack. I'm very proud of you. You have to believe in yourself, Jack. All right, you're, you're right. You're chasing your dreams today. You're right. You're helping me build my confidence. You're a very confident person, and it's rubbing off on me. I think I might be a lot stronger after this lesson. Oh, tried to work that into the ending, I saw, I saw. Okay, this should be easier than the leap, or harder. Ah! Ah! Stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes! That's really good. Let's go, honestly.
Honestly, I don't know how I landed that. Was that better than my first trick on the beam? Definitely better than your first trick. Okay, let's go. While you're up here to get off, the third skill is a dismount. Okay, so what, I just jump off? Um, no, it's gymnastics. We have to flip. Show me the way. Here's the next skill. The running. Oh! Yo! Okay, Adriana is a professional gymnast, and I don't do beam professionally. And don't forget the ending, Jack. Here we go, and. That was actually the best skill out of the entire beam rotation. You get a crisp high five for that one. Thanks for the crisp high five. I needed to wipe my paw sweat off on something. Okay, so for this round, I'm going to have to score him like a six and a half because he did do the front tuck really, really well and he stuck the cartwheel, but his legs were just too bent on that leap. Next, you got to do the bars. All right, what's my first challenge? Back hip circle. Back hip circle? Show me. It's been a while. I think I know what that move is. Yeah, I'm not doing that part at all. Okay, so we're gonna start from here. You gotta do a little baby cast, or you can do a big cast, whichever one you want. And then you're just gonna go around the bar. All right, let's see it. Whoa. Adriana made that look a lot easier than it actually is. Yes. Okay, so if I want a perfect 10, I have to keep everything straight. Basically, yeah. All right, I think I got this, let's try this. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, this is not only really scary, but I need to make sure everything's perfect if I want to get a 10 from the world's strictest judge at the end. Here we go. I have absolutely no idea how I'm doing so far, but hopefully I'm on track to literally score a 10 at the end performance. Okay, not really what I thought was going to happen. Did I have the right idea? Was it even close? Like, give me some feedback. I think you have me speechless, Jack. Why? It looks like you didn't even try. My fat roll got you, stuck in the bar. You have to apply yourself. Okay, okay, I'm just- Get on the bar now and do it better. This is why I didn't have the confidence when I was a kid to go for the Olympics because I was so nervous and messy. But failure is a part of greatness. All right, this one's gonna be better. Come Ready? On, you got it. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna that tomorrow. Are you giving up on me? I'm not giving up. Are you giving up I may, on your coach? I may have to put a different skill in my bar routine because I don't think this one's going to fly, if you know what I'm saying. That's up to you. I'll try again. Last time. <sighs> and here we go. Come on. Ah! Yes! Yo! I told you you could do it. You yes. need to stop giving up on yourself so easily. You know what? I'm so proud that I have a best friend that believes in me. So what's the second skill? Am I gonna get some of these hand things that block the bar? Um, no, we need to build up your calluses. You need to be tough and you're not allowed to get grips yet. Okay, I at least get some of this. Yeah, for those sweaty palms. All right, good, I yeah. didn't have that on the first skill. For those sweaty palms, <laughs> You're funny, you're funny. I know. Are you ready for your second skill? No, but let's do it. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Oh! What? How do you expect me to do that whole thing? That looked like it involved flexibility too, which I clearly did not do that well. Okay, all I want you to focus on is going from the bottom bar to the top bar. Everything else is just my little fancy flair. Sure thing. <coughs> from here, what are you doing? I was fixing it. You're preparing for my failure. You don't believe in me. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, is that it? Okay, maybe I should have been more clear, but your feet cannot touch the ground. Let's try that again. Ah, this is literally so hard. This is literally one of the hardest tricks ever. I'm gonna go again. Any, any advice? I'm straddling, you went between and a pike, is that easier? I say you can keep the straddle, just keep your feet on the bar longer. About to rip. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want to be like Adriana when I'm older. I can't. Dude, this is not happening. You picked the hardest bar skills. Literally, they don't even do these types of bars in men's gymnastics. Is there another skill? I mean, what are we done with we this? Can, we, we can do a different skill for you. It's okay. Third skill. Okay, that looks pretty hard. All you have to do is just cast up and fall over and land on your feet. Yeah, I just gotta get like almost 200 above the bar, right? I'm not talking about bench record. I'm talking about right now. 
hand sand press. Here we go. Remember, keep your toes pointed. Oh yeah. That's the hard part. And ah! Did I have to go over the bar and end too? Yes. I really? I literally explained it like that. I literally, okay, sorry, coach. Sorry, here we go. Listen. Here we go. Ah! One more time. Come on, keep it going. I can't. Bars are not for me. It's literally the hardest event ever. I need one. I have to give Jack a three for this round because he couldn't even complete two of the skills that I gave him. And the one that he did complete, I literally had to pull it out of him. Do you think I have what it takes to make it to the Olympics? Hmm. No! I was gonna say yes. Just felt like pushing you, bro. Ah, ah, I thought you were gonna yeah. say no. Speaking of Olympics, this is an Olympic standard vault and springboard. And this is what you're doing for challenge four. Okay, vault. This is the scariest event in all of gymnastics. It's literally the most fun event in all of gymnastics. Jack has to try a Sukahara. For some reason, the runway looks a lot further from back here. I am pretty good at flips though, so maybe I'll do really well with this challenge. Your turn. Ah, uh, okay. You got any tips or advice to do that one? Run fast. Oh my gosh, that one felt really good actually. That was actually probably the best thing you've done all freaking day. Let's go. Yes, do you think I'm gonna be a little bit closer to getting a 10 at the end of this challenge? You know, I think we're on the right track here. All right, I'm really nervous for the performance at the end, but I definitely am building some confidence. I'm gonna have to give Jack a 10 for this round. Hopefully he can maintain that for the end performance. Next round, floor. Now this is one of your better events, but we're gonna do some stuff that you're not used to. I'm not used to? What am I not used to on the floor? I can do everything. We're gonna start with a shishanova. A shisha what? Just, just watch. The skills are definitely getting harder and harder throughout this challenge because this one looks the scariest so far. Me? Bro, you for real? All right, all right, I think I can do that. I, I think I can do it. Can you show me one more time? I'm also really scared to jump straight up in the air and then go straight down onto my stomach. I'm really nervous, but I'm gonna go for it. He's finished. I didn't think I was gonna have to do this last week when I was in Italy. All right. Uh, I don't know if anything's okay after that. I heard a crunch and a crackle and a snap and a pop. Everything you just named, snack, crackle, pop, rice, crispy treats, yeah, that hurt, but um, was that, was that it? I mean, try one more time, and we wanna have our entire frontal of our body to land at the same time. Send help. It's a gymnastics coach thing to say. I'm gonna commit. Do you land on your feet like a push-up or pointed toes on no, top of your like, feet? It's like... Oh, gosh, all right. This like, one's a commitment. Your arms like control you down, but it helps if you land. Boom. Let's do it. Ah! Oh I can't. I now. can't land all at once. It was good. The straddle was good. I mean, he went for it, but he didn't full send. So I'm gonna have to give him a five for this round. Next round, we're on the trampoline. Each skill we do is gonna get more difficult. What? First skill, half and back out. That's the first skill? All right, just go, just go. If I spend literally half of my life on the trampoline, I think I will do the best with this challenge. Whoa! Yo, your face is so low on that. This is an Olympic level skill, and if I'm gonna have a chance to ever compete in the Olympics, I have to be able to do this. As a bare minimum. Oh. And here we go. Does that count? I mean, yeah, that was actually really good. You added your little extra flair on it, and I really liked it. So good for you. Slay. What's the second trick? You do a double back on the trick. All right, here we go. And this one's pretty easy for your boy. Let's go. Let's go. All right, what's my third trick? You know what, Jack? I'm not gonna give you a third skill for this round because I just want you to impress me. Slay less, I got this, here we go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Bro. You're not used to an Olympic trampoline. You're right, because I've never been to the Olympics. Here we go. 
And... That was a slay. Yeah! Let's go. So for the trampoline round, I think I'm gonna give you an eight. It wasn't perfect, but you tried really hard and you did impress me. Next is rock floor tumbling, and Jack, you have to copy this tumbling pass. Mmm. Okay, what is it? I'm good at tumbling. Adriana started running really fast into this tumbling pass. That was absolutely crazy. I never do front tumbling, so I'm really nervous for this one. I believe in you, and I think you got this. Thank you. All positive vibes. Oh. Yeah, all positive. See, I'm really good with tumbling, but not front tumbling. So this one's going to be extremely tricky for me. I think it was pretty good. I think I'm getting closer to being ready for this final performance. Okay, for this round, Jack, I'm gonna have to give you a nine because it was pretty close to perfect, but you didn't land like a gymnast, you landed like a cheerleader. Next round, you have to do an extremely hard strength challenge on the beat. I mean, if it involves strength, I think I had a chance because I'm stronger than you. This definitely does not look like Adriana's first time doing this trick. Oh my gosh. Into the ending too? Come on now. Yo, there You're is... an Olympic gymnast now. <laughs> All right, watch out, watch out. I was scared. Nonetheless, I still went for it. Hold on, I went a little too hard. Ah. Unique New York. Oh, ah! I can't do it. That's my best effort. You gotta control it. That was all the control I was gonna get. You know, this just shows you how hard it is to actually be an Olympic gymnast because I haven't even got half of these skills right. Hopefully, I can get way better before the performance at the end. I'm gonna have to give that a negative two. Challenge nine, front walkover and back walkover. But you have to land on the line. Oh my gosh, stick it is literally like the hardest part of gymnastics, not moving when you land. While Adriana is making this look really easy, it's actually extremely hard because it takes strength, flexibility, and precision. Oh, that was literally so elegant. That was, that was graceful too, honestly. I have to give it to you. Thank you. Now let's see Jack make it graceful. <laughs> the shark is ready. Front walk over, back walk over, no moving. Oh. Okay. You know what? We're not gonna, we're not, I, that was my first try. No. Dude, I literally, I have to go again. I'm not flexible. This is literally like the hardest thing ever. I don't know if I'm gonna stick it. Oh, that was better. And. Oh. I stuck it. I literally stuck that one. You made it through both of the skills, and I am proud of you. Let's go. I have so much confidence now. He's good at flipping, but everything else, I don't know. Like, the flexibility is just not there. Round nine, I'm gonna have to give him a four and a half, because he tried really, really hard. Last round before your performance, and we're gonna do some more front tumbling. Okay, it's good to practice on your weaknesses so they can become strengths. Exactly, I love that mindset. was literally perfect. And you see how I pointed my toes? I did, but Jared, I'm so nervous right now, but if she can do it, and this is my last chance to get ready for my performance, I think I can do it. I stood in the corner with my heart beating, anxiously waiting to run for this combo, but I just somehow couldn't go yet. I was so nervous, but I had to. My hands are sweaty. That was Ow. really gross. Nervous. <laughs> that was really <laughs> But was it good? It was amazing. You know what, Jack? I'm really proud of you for that one. I think I'm going to give you like a seven. A seven? Wait, why did you give me a score? Um, well, I've been scoring you the whole round just to make sure that I knew you were judging no, me. I, I knew just, you were judging me. I was just around. trying to make sure that you were ready for your performance. Okay, well, did I at least get a 10 anywhere? Yes. I may have hope. Jack? This is your world's strictest judge. My girlfriend, she literally judges me so harshly. Exactly. Afaf, please give me some magic in my score. You know, I love you, but I'm always honest. So you better impress me. It is time for my performance, and I've been training for the past hour with Adriana for this. Hopefully, I can score a 10. I know he's your boyfriend, but you can't be biased, honey. 
If anything, I'll be extra harsh on him because I want him to do better. Exactly. I'm really nervous for this performance, but here it is. It'll be a combination of a couple floor exercises and moves. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my that gosh. Was crazy. I know. My first skill seemed to wow the judge, so hopefully this second skill will make her mouth drop. Do you think he's gonna land it? How was it? I don't know what I'm about to get, but hopefully I get a 10 or else I'm gonna have a consequence. And I don't want one. What is it? Are you ready? Sure. Three, two. No! How did I get a 9.6? You should have just gave me a 10. Flip it upside down. Maybe it's another score. It's still a 9.6 upside down. What? No, I, I, I can't have a consequence. I tried my hardest. You should have trained me harder. I tried my best. You gave up on me. Come on, you gotta give me a chance. No, 10. Jack. I'm the strictest judge, and a strict judge would probably not even give you a 9.6. My childhood dreams are not coming true. And for your consequence, Adriana gets the golden gymnastics no, cup. No, give yes, me my cup thank back. You, thank you. I literally beat you in a challenge to win that. How can you just give it to her? Well, you didn't score a 10. That was the. Ugh. If you would have listened to me and just would have pointed your toes, you would have gotten them. Like the video if you think I'm gonna win this back and subscribe if you think she's gonna keep it forever. Only 1% of people can do this. And less than 1% of people can do this. Today I'm competing against my friends to see who can do the most impossible gymnastics skills. That double layout gets a 10. Yeah. This trick definitely gets a 10. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting that. This definitely gets a 10. Yay! Oh, oh, oh. Each trick will be scored from 1 to 10. Whoever has the lowest total score at the end will have a brutal consequence. This competition's only going to get harder and harder. This is not even fair. Afaf is your girlfriend. She can't judge. Yeah, this is so unfair. Unfair for me because she's going to judge me the hardest. I'm about to do the most impossible gymnastics combo, so I'm definitely not going to get a consequence. Watch. Here we go. I don't know how I was doing that many flips. I was starting to get really dizzy. Oh, oh my gosh. How is she flipping that fast? I don't know. I can't do 10 like that. Oh my god. But I feel like we can do some flexible tricks that he can't do, so yeah. we still have a chance. We got it. Back walk over is easier. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Let's go. <laughs> 10 back handsprings in the same spot. I did not move. Better score high on that one. That was good, but I've definitely seen you do more. I give that a six. Six? But I did 10 flips. I've seen you do like 30. Maybe she won't be biased against that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I should have got higher than yeah, six. That, yeah, that was really good. Y'all should tell her that for me, please. No, we're no, with we're six. Yeah, yeah, it was a fair yeah. score, actually. <laughs> this one here, I know no one else here can do. I'm gonna do a 270. I'm so nervous for this next trick. I really hope I get a high score. I kind of hope Anna falls off the beam. So your legs go in 270 degrees like this. Anna, I give this one a seven. A seven? That's it? I've seen you do a triple fold. Hey, so you're getting older now. So I think me and Anna got this. We're the younger ones, yeah, you know? Yeah, we definitely got this. Uh, what are those for? Clubs. All right, well, you're not going to be in the winning club. Let's see what you got. <laughs> this one always goes viral, so. I have no idea how she was doing that. I think this is a really cool trick. I mean, that was good, but she has the world's strictest judge scoring her, so we'll see how good it was. Yeah, Faf has been pretty hard so far. All right, since you think your mom's so strict, I'm gonna have to give you a five. What? I mean, it looks cool, but it wasn't that hard. My mom would give me more than that. Maybe I'm more strict than her. Both the girls are good at gymnastics, but there can only be one winner, and you're looking at them. They may be good, but they were on Team USA. They're so confident, but none of them can do this. This is one of the hardest skills in the world because you have to flip from sitting down. I've never seen you do this. A flip sitting down? How are you gonna flip, flip from yeah. there? Like, that's not possible. This better score a 10. I have no idea if Jack's gonna land this next trick. Oh, I mean, I went off my forearm. I, I, I was 
basically it. I mean, I still got over. Did you use your back handspring on your elbows? It was supposed to be on my paws, but my hand missed. It's so hard. That looks yeah, pretty actually. cool, but I feel like that should be points off because that wasn't what you were trying to do. That's true. I like the way Anna thinks. <laughs> Please, you said you wanted an engagement ring. Please. I'm not going to go easy on you for an engagement ring. Since you didn't do what you were attempting to do, I give it a four. A four? That's so hard. I could have picked something so much easier to do. You didn't execute the trick. All right, well, you know what? Hopefully, the girls mess up. Remember, whoever has the lowest score at the end has a terrible consequence. The girls brought their A game today, and I am scared I may end up with the consequence. It's your turn okay. to lose. No, I am not losing this. All right, let's see what you got. Come on. This is one of the most extreme flexibility poses. I'm really going to try my hardest because I do not want to do the consequence. I'm starting with the back bend, but this isn't the whole pose. What? Oh my God. Whoa. No feet on the ground, bent in half. But just wait, it's gonna get way harder than this. Harder? That takes extreme yeah. balance too. So this isn't the hardest part. I do not know how Anna was bending into thirds. This is literally the hardest flexibility skill I've ever seen. Ah! Oh, she disappeared. And that's my combo. Oh my gosh. How did she do that? That was insane. I give it a 10. <laughs> it's definitely fair. Can you guys do triple fold? Ah! Uh, I can triple fold this paper. That was so fair. Thank you. I can't triple fold, but I can triple fold. And she can't do any of this. Move! All right, Elena, let's see what you got. Yeah, I'll show you what I got. Oh! Oh! You're going down. That was past tense. I'm already down. I know none of you can do this. Elena kept doing this skill across the entire spring floor. That's probably going to earn her extra points. How is she doing that still? It's so easy, bro. You Wait, don't do it. that many or a fat's gonna think it's cool. You, you, you're you done. That was good. Oh, she actually stopped. That may help. I did a full circle. That should give me points. I give that a seven. Okay, that's way better than the five, so I'll take it. I'm racing Anna to 10 million subscribers, and to prove I deserve it more, I'm gonna win today's challenge. Y'all can just stay sitting here because the champion's the only one stepping up to the plate. He thinks he's the champion. I don't think. I know. What? My legs were shaking, and my hands were sweaty. I was super nervous. Oh, that was so easy. I literally could have added something onto it, but I already know it's so hard. I did a half. That, looked that cool. did look pretty hard. I have to get that. Yeah. Out. This is one of the hardest skills in the world because you have to flip off of only your hand. That was impressive. I give it an eight. Yes! Finally! Finally a score that's closer to a ten. This one, I'm going to need a little backup. Afa, can you come here? What kind of backup are you talking about? I was thinking I could do a belt on you. Like, I become a human belt. Anna, you're a person, not a belt. I think we can do it. You just have to go on your hands and knees and I'll, like, wrap around you. It'll look super cool. I don't know how I feel Wait, about yeah, this. Y'all yeah, yeah. should try this. I definitely think that y'all should do that. I think that's a really good idea. Okay, I told her to do it because I don't think they're going to be able to get it. I think she's going to fall. Yeah, how does a human become a belt? I don't do this next trick very often. I really hope I don't slide down. How does this I work? I think we're going to get it. You just have to stand up. There's um, no way that you yeah. stand up. Like that. I have no idea how Anna wrapped her entire body around a fat. Okay, I definitely give this a nine. That's awesome. That's one of the highest scores of the day. It's so close to a 10. I mean, I guess that was a cool outfit. That was pretty cool. She was talking and spinning at the same time. That's crazy. This took me a couple of years to perfect, so we'll see. Elena's ribbon soared into the air. That should give me a really high score. Oh, oh my God. Thing I think you've done so far. That seems impossible. Do you see the reaction of that? That was insane. I give it a 10. Yes! Finally a 10! Oh my god! Very well deserving of all the practice I had. A practice keeps giving the girls a high school. We deserve it! That was pretty cool. <laughs> we did it! We did it! We deserve it! We deserve it. The girls have been doing a lot of flexibility things, but I'm about to do a floor tumbling combo because they're not that good at tumbling, so hopefully this will be my advantage. I started all the way back in the corner because I was going to need a lot of running room for this next combo. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it keeps going. How is it so going? going? How long is it going for? Oh. Ah. Ah. I wasn't expecting it to be that long. Yeah. You just kept going. I thought you were just going to end in that corner. That's the longest pass I've seen you do ever. That's the hardest thing you've done so far, so I give it a 10. Oh. Oh, let's go, I'm coming back. 
Okay, we really need to step up our game now. Like, that was so crazy. Yeah, if he keeps doing that, oh, I'm nervous. I know, he could catch up. I think I know what I'm going to do next. Hopefully, whatever she does isn't better than me, though, because I'm competing against all of them. I need to win. I know you guys have seen this trick, but I'm going to add something else to it. Jack's trick was so cool. I really hope I can do something that scores higher. Whoa, she's going so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know that skill is going to score high because there is no chance I could do that. Oh, whoa, move. Yo, she's spazzing out. What is going on? This has to be the craziest flexibility combination I've ever seen. I've never seen that. Oh my god. I just spent half as much as I could. I hope I get the high score. That's not human. I give it an 8. What? That's not too bad of a score. It's up to you now. I need to get the 10. You're going down. Since you guys did floor stuff, it's my turn to do a little floor pass. Okay. I mean, I left the magic best on the floor, so see if you got it. This is getting a 10. All right, let's go. This is so easy. It's just split the walk over. But I haven't seen anyone else do this, so this wouldn't be too hard. That literally looks crazy. Like, I can't even do a regular split. You are flipping into a split and then flipping out of a split. Can't you do that? I'm confused. That was good, but I've definitely seen you do a lot harder things. I give it a six. What? A six? I thought that was high. I'm out of here. That's between you two. And a homie. I know you ladies have never done a combo before ever like this on the trampoline, so make sure you watch closely because I'm going to take a 10 home on this one. Oh, oh my god. How many times is he going? Oh. That was such a hard combo. I don't think y'all can do a single one of those tricks. I lost track of how many flips and spins he just did. Yeah, I would be really dizzy if I were you. Same. Okay, what do you give it? I give that a 10. Yeah! Is that his third 10? We need to get some high scores. Oh my god, we gotta. I'm not losing this. Yeah, we don't wanna lose. So Anna wanted to come over here and use this pommel horse practice thing. Why do you want, you want me to turn it over? Uh, yeah, actually we need to like take it apart. Oh. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, I've turned it over. What do you want it for? I'm gonna fit inside of this. No way. Yeah. Fit inside? There's no it's way. So small. Do you guys think I can bend inside of this? No. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can. I've never tried this. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can barely sit in it. There's no way you could bend. So small. Oh my uh, God. Just like that. Her face is literally gone and her arm. I think this should get a high score. I can't even look up right now. That definitely is impossible. Why does she look comfortable in that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally know that you can't even yeah, do that. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. No way. A fact, what do you think? I don't even know how that's possible. I give it a nine. What? That's awesome. I had no idea what that was going to score. Anna may be in the lead, but she has to run out of tricks soon. There's only so many flexibility things that you can do. Or should I say less than 1% can do it. They're taking this competition so seriously and pulling out their hardest tricks. I actually don't know what to expect next. This is definitely impossible for them to do. I don't even think she'll be able to catch the ball. I don't know. She's pretty good at these ball moves. We'll see. Oh! She caught it! Really clean too, so this should give you a high score. I'm getting nervous after that. That was a perfect catch. That was a perfect catch, but I don't know if she's going to get a perfect score. I give that a perfect 10. Yes! It's because of the sparkly ball, right? It is yeah, because of yeah. the sparkly ball. Yeah. Here's a twist. This is the last round and your last chance to add to your score. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what? Gotta go super sane. For this final skill, I've decided to use a different piece of equipment that they haven't yet, therefore increasing my chances of getting a 10. I'll be going off the vault, running over 100 feet, and punching off of this. Please help me. But you can't do what we can do. Likewise. I give that a seven. A seven? I mean, you landed in the pit and not the floor. That's part of the runway. Oh. Well, it's a seven. I don't think I've done this trick for you guys before. I'm gonna do a floating back bend. Floating? I've never heard of that one. Define gravity? Yeah, basically, I'm just gonna like, oh my ah. god, back bend like that. Yo! So it's floating? Oh my gosh, how is she doing that? That is definitely so hard. Oh my gosh! How is she bending like that? That's definitely the most bendy in this whole video. I've never seen you do that trick, which is crazy because I've known you for three years. So what do you score it? I give it a six. Okay, I think that means I avoided the consequence. That does, which means it's between Elena and Jack. 
this just got close. So do you want to do the consequence now or after your low scoring trick? Um, I still haven't gone and you only got a seven. I'm confident I'll get a 10 and you're getting the consequence. Okay, we'll see about that. I'm pretty nervous because I have to get at least an eight and path is really strict this time, but I'm ready because she likes the ribbon and she likes tosses, so I think I'll get a 10. I kind of hope she messes up. I just don't want the consequence. That should give me at least an eight. I give that a 10. Woo! I knew you were gonna get the consequence. Let's go. While you're down there, you can just stay and lay down on your back. What? Just lay down. For your consequence, you can't move for the next 15 seconds. What? No, please don't be a spider. Please don't be a snake. Please don't be a bug. Please, please. Last time we did the paw challenge, there was a snake. Please, please don't be a snake. Why do you always put the worst consequences? Oh, oh my gosh. Does that hurt you? Yeah, yeah does that hurt you? Yeah, yeah. I guess I have to go now. Like the video if you think they want to <laughs> swear and subscribe if we should do a rematch. Have you ever seen somebody do something so crazy that you thought it was impossible? Meet Ian, a four-time NCAA men's gymnastics national champion. Today, he will be challenging me to 10 of his most extreme gymnastics skills. Did I get it or not? Ah, chill, chill. If I can successfully complete any one of his challenges, I may have a shot at my biggest dream ever, competing in the Olympics. The first challenge is a Yamawaki to plan. What does that even mean? You'll see. All right, so how do you do this, Ian? It's pretty simple. Simple? Oh, that already looks hard. How are you just... Whoa! What in the world? Pretty easy. How are you holding that? Um, okay, so clearly he's the pro, and now it's time for the noob to try. This is the magic powder to do whatever he just did. So cover the back of your hands, too? The back? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, and then the little gymnast... <coughs> This is literally my first time attempting this. Here we go. And he did a little one of these. Oh, yo, I actually might get this. Ready? And go! All right, take two. Here we go. And all right, you got it. Oh, yo, this is so much harder than it looks. For each challenge, Ian, aka the pro, will set a trick. And Jack, aka the noob, will attempt to copy it. If the noob cannot successfully complete any of the pro's challenges, he will have a consequence. This is challenge number two. It's a full spin on one hand. Uh, I don't even know what that means, but the pro does, so let's see it. Watch and learn. I'm watching, but I don't know if I'm gonna learn anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo. What? Oh my gosh! Yo, is that one hand? It's twice as easy as two hands. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if I can do the two hands part. All right, give me some luck. All right, you got it. All right, step one. I got the dog protectors on. Why is this even part of gymnastics? What is a horse? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Start now. All right, here we go. Oh, that thing went into my... Was that it? Was that close? Did no. I do the challenge successfully? You didn't even make the circle. You have to make the full spin on the one arm. Dude, this is impossible. He might have won the gymnastics championships, but I won the cheer championships, and we all know that cheer is harder than gymnastics. I eat, sleep, and breathe gymnastics 24-7. The skills I'm trying today are some of the hardest in the sport. It's going to be a really hard challenge for the noob. All right, next challenge is a Tkachev von high bar. Dude, I don't know any of the names of any of the tricks you picked so far, so let's see it. Bro. The chances of him getting this are zero. Bro, way to have confidence in me. Yo, what are you doing? He's been training for almost 20 years to do a trick on the bar that I have to copy. This isn't gonna work. Yo, you have so much power. Oh my gosh, yo! What in the world? Dude, that was literally insane. I'm gonna use my grips, it'll probably help. Sure, we can trade Pokemon cards. Um, hopefully these are not sweaty. You're just gonna give we'll me this? It out. Why does this look like the leash to a dog? Oh, all right, I feel like I got superpowers now that I got these on. This is pretty simple, y'all. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was not it. I literally tried. Whoa, a bird. He did not successfully complete that. Well, good thing we have a couple more challenges. It's starting to look like he's gonna get the consequence. Oh, you? For the next challenge, you have to try my dismount on parallel bars. Um, what is your dismount? You'll see. Men's gymnastics is way harder than it looks. I do not want to get this consequence. 
All right, handstand. I think I can do a handstand for sure. Stuck it. Whoa, dude, that was wild. So you did a handstand on one arm and then flipped off that arm? Sure. I don't know if I'm uh, tall enough to ride this ride. And take notes. Just kidding. Uh, I don't really know if, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you went down to your elbows, right? Yeah. And then you popped up, spun to one arm like this, and then, oh, yo. That was kind of it, right? All right, this is literally the hardest challenge that I've ever done in my entire life. Next challenge is flexibility. A gymnast has to be strong and flexible. Wait, this isn't just all strength stuff? I didn't warm up for this. You start with the split. You can't easy. even do a split. Bro, how can you do a split? I feel bad for you because my split, ow! Oh. Ah, my back hamstring, yo. Does this count? Am I all the way down? Uh, Did I get the flexibility? Dude, I could crawl under you right now. So does that mean I made it? I'm trying to go lower. This hurts. Did I get it or not? Ah, chill, chill, chill oh. out, fam. Ow. That was pretty bad, so I'm gonna give you one more chance. Uh, thanks. We're gonna do some shoulder flexibility. Oh, perfect. I never stretch my shoulders. Bro. That's it, it's pretty easy. Wait, are you double jointed? No. You know, you just do it. What? Okay, all right, I'll try it. That was the pro. <laughs> I honestly didn't think you were gonna be able to do that. Those biceps are a little swole. All right, here we go, ready? Ah! Oh, I'm trying to wiggle it through in the spine. Does it work? Ugh. This doesn't work. Next challenge, vault. Let's do it. Yo, he's running so fast. Oh, yo. Now you have to try that. I actually think this is the one challenge I might have a shot at. Just watch, just watch. I'm gonna get it. This is for my grandma's cat. Oh, that was it, I think. It was pretty good, but it was tucked. You gotta do it with straight legs. Dude, but I did it. You didn't, did he say how to do it with straight legs? All right, next challenge is strength. You have to hold a floor planche for 10 seconds. A uh, floor what? You'll see, it's like a table. I think I know what this one is, and I also don't think I can do it, but I gotta step it up and try it. I cannot get a consequence. The noob will successfully do this one. And go. All right, I got a timer, no cheating. Yo, you're at five seconds, six. Yo, how are you holding it? That is crazy. Yo, you got 10 seconds. You could have held that for at least like 20. I could hold it all day. Time for the noob. You know what, I'll start it a little early for you. I don't even need you to. All right, here we go. And Oh, yo, hold on, I actually think I can do this. And, and how do you hold that? It's literally impossible to balance without falling over. Dude, that was really good. I know, thanks. Ooh. Dude, for real? There's a better chance at it snowing in Florida in the middle of summer than me being able to do any of his skills. But I will try harder than I did on my final math exam in high school in today's challenge. All right, this is a noob versus pro rope race. Whoever gets to the top first is the pro. Wait, you are the noob and I'm the pro, right? Mm, we'll see. Ah, you don't stand a chance. Ah, wait, ah, yo, I feel heavier today. Oh my gosh. Yo, slow down. Ah, why am I spinning in a circle? You tried. Wait, where are you? Why Should are you going down? Should I go back up? No. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall, yo. Let's sketch. Wait. Hey, that was pretty good for a noob. You didn't even make it to the top. Yeah, I did. Watch the video. You better step up your game. We only have two more challenges and you're about to get the consequence. Dude, I literally am gonna be able to do one of the two things for sure. Probably both of them. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna test how low you can handstand. If you can do a handstand lower than me, you can win this contest. Dude, a handstand? That's like the easiest thing today so far. Let's do it. Um, wait, your face isn't balancing on the floor? I think the noobs got this one. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna just kick oh. these off. <laughs> All right, here we go, and. <sighs> All right, you're gonna have to go wider than that. Ugh, just doesn't work for me. Ugh, this challenge is rigged. This is your last chance to succeed in one of these challenges or you have a consequence. Oh no. All right, what do we got? What do we got? You have to stick the floor pass I'm gonna do. Uh, stick it? That's like my favorite game in gymnastics. I think I can do this. Just depends on what you're doing. Whatever tumbling pass he chooses, I will have to copy. 
Yo, that was actually crazy. Oh yeah, I know. Let's see if you can do it. All right, you know what? This is when the noob is going to take the Dodge High Five as motivation to stick this. Let's go. Oh. Yes! Let's go! Right, the noob go. got one of the challenges right. Well, I guess you have no consequence. You did it. Subscribe and check out the Pro's YouTube channel. <laughs> Some gymnastic skills are so hard that they've never been done before. But are they impossible? Today, my friends and I will be competing to see who can do the most impossible gymnastics trick, starting with a double layout. Jack, that was good, but I've seen better. I give that a seven. Oh, I'm gonna have to step it up to get a 10. I'm about to do something impossible for them. Not true. I can do everything you can do. What are you doing? Step out, layout. Oh! I can definitely not do that. Yeah, not the ending part, but the rest of it. I give that a seven out of 10. Are you kidding me? That should have gotten way higher. I don't see them doing this. Oh my Are gosh! You kidding me? It's easy. Easy! Yeah, I don't what? know about that one. I give that a nine out of 10. Means I'm in the lead. Each contestant will have to attempt seven impossible skills, and I'm going to be judging each trick from one to 10. Whoever has the highest score at the end will win a huge prize. I'm excited to see what impossible skills I bring to the challenge today. I'm gonna attempt some skills that I've never done before today, so hopefully they get me a really high score. Every trick I do is impossible for them, so I'm definitely gonna win. I'm gonna do 20 flips in between these two lines. I've never done 20 flips before within five feet of space on a trampoline, but I kept pushing even though I got super dizzy right about here. I continued to go. It was super hot I got super sweaty. I was getting really dizzy But I kept pushing because I had to do 20 to get the highest score possible. That was really impressive That gets a nine. I can do something way cooler on the trampoline. What is she gonna do? Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh, that was too flip Huh? That was good, I give it a nine. The trampoline is way easier than the floor, so we're gonna do some hard tricks right now. Holy crap. What? Oh my gosh! What wait, was that? wait, I don't even know. He gets a seven for that. Tricks from sitting down are impossible. Let's bust this myth. That was really creative, but the execution wasn't that great, so it gets a seven. What? I'm gonna do an aerial in the shapes. I've never seen this done before. That's impossible. Ooh, that was crazy. The shape is a triangle, which is harder than a circle. It's a square. Step out. What in the flamingo ending was that? This shape is the hardest, so if she steps out, she's gonna get a low score. No way. Oh! Why do you keep going onto one foot? I give that a seven. They could never do this trick in their dreams. Oh my gosh! Insane, that, you had so much height. That was insane, I give that a nine. Everyone's only done tricks that are backwards, so I'm gonna do a trick that goes forward. Hit the subscribe button before I stop this double front flip. Woo! That was really cool, but I've seen harder. I give that a six. What, a six? Watch this. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I know the boys can't do that. That was good, I give it an eight. Let's see what Bailey's got. Oh my gosh, what in the Spider-Man was that? That went above my head, definitely giving it an eight. Bagels, can I use you for one of my tricks? Uh, I don't wanna help you win. Just do a front flip real quick, right here. I should have helped him. I give that a 10. Let's go! First 10. Front Giants. Since Cassidy's probably gonna do a lot of Front Giants in a row, this is the perfect time to tell you that I just dropped my YouTube memberships. By joining my channel, you'll receive cool shark badges beside your name every time you comment on one of my videos. Speaking of cool, how did Cassidy just do that many of those? <laughs> You did nine giants, so I give you a nine. Are you kidding me? You gave Jack a 10. They're dating, this is so rigged. Now it's Bailey's turn, and I have a feeling he's gonna get a really high score for this combo. That was a lot of spins, I'm kinda dizzy. I give that an eight. I did a flip from sitting down, and now it's time to do one off my hand. Oh! I almost tripped from the mat, not the actual trick. I give that an eight. Cassidy's up next. That was cute, I give it an eight. An eight? 
I landed it. That was good. Now it's my brother's turn, and he has a lot of power going into this trick. Ooh. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. Props, props. Wow, that was an eight. This is my last trick, so this one's gonna be so impossible. I'm gonna get a high score. Fun fact, I've never done this many front flips in a row on a trampoline. I was super nervous to attempt this, but I could not back down. I need to win this challenge. This is definitely a personal record for me for the most front flips. Woo! What do I get for that? Honestly, I thought you were gonna do something a lot harder, so I give it a seven. A seven? I did 12 flips in a row. This is definitely impossible for you. Get out of the way. <laughs> what is it? All right, that was kind of cool. What is that trick even called? Oh! That was probably one of Cassidy's easiest tricks, so I give it a six. Now they're gonna watch me win. This is Bailey's final chance to get a high score. Oh! Bailey gets a nine, so he wins the prize. Ooh, what? what? This is rigged. Oh. Subscribe.